Hey, this is Sihur from Hexal.com. Today we're gonna talk about ProGuard. What ProGuard does is uh, it shrinks uh, the size of the APK by removing uh, classes, uh, methods, codes, uh, and uh, to the APK. And by default, it's enabled for release builds. Minify enabled, true, and uh, we set. Uh, two files with the rules, the, the default one and the, our project one. And you can check uh, the default rules in here, here, Android SDK tools for guard, for guard Android. That's the default rules. And uh, our project ones are here. So ProGuard uh, consists of three steps shrinking, optimizing and obfuscation. Shrinking is uh, actual removing classes, uh, files, methods, variables, fields if then they uh, are considered as not used by ProGuard and uh, in most cases it works but uh, sometimes it removes the ones that you use but it thinks it y you don't use that's why we have uh, custom rules like keep so that it doesn't touch those classes the second step optimization is not enabled by default it goes through the code itself methods algorithms and checks how to improve it uh, like uh, removing the uh, precaution and uh, removing unused if else statements all this stuff so to enable it you need to replace your default ProGuard rules with the, this one, optimized. You can check the difference in here as well, in your SDK folder. And uh, one of the great use cases for uh, optimized rules is removing the uh, login so those lines are gonna remove a uh, login for your release bills or whatever bills you use to minify pro guard with but uh, in order for this uh, code to work you need to use optimize and uh, you can uh, build your release apk and check it the actual code with the dex to jar this library you can convert uh, your apk download this uh, jar and then open it with the jd gui And you can go through the code and check that uh, you actually don't have any logs in your release APK. But uh, just make sure to clean and uh, rebuild the project after reading those lines and just uh, compare those two with the optimization on here and remove the login and without it and the last step is obfuscation which is uh, making uh, your variables, methods, classes, names uh, meaningless short and uh, this one is for uh, making reverse engineering of your APK and you can check the rules definition in here on this website yeah, that's it for now and uh, thanks for watching.